Hello and welcome to episode number 22 of Zach's Tech Talk Tuesday. My name is Ryan Nuquini and on this week's show, the first show of the brand new year, we will be taking a look at three red hot small cap tech stocks and discussing what it might take for these stocks to continue their run into 2018. As we all know, the tech sector dominated Wall Street for the majority of 2017 and as we look at the year's highest flying stocks, most of the recognizable names are dominant and in innovative technology brands, and specifically uh, those large cap industry behemoths that we all know and love. Um, of course, December did introduce some profit taking and portfolio rebalancing that brought with it some new volatility, but 2017 was definitely still the year of the tech stock. Even with December's volatility, we witnessed plenty of noteworthy tech companies start to pick up steam, uh, including several booming small caps that are sporting strong Zacks ranks and other key metrics. So that was why I wanted to do a show like this to start 2018, as we did see that December volatility and we did see that December volatility hurt some of the highest flying stocks of 2017. Like I said, the the really uh, the big industry heavyweights and in the in the darlings of Wall Street, um, like Nvidia, uh, saw saw their first extended periods of of volatility really the entire year, um, and that did of course impact um, small cap tech stocks too, which just inherently more volatile. But uh, you know, looking at uh, some of our biggest gainers of the month, we did also see. Um, so some small t- cap names, some small cap tech names uh, emerge. Uh, so the first company I want to highlight today is Counterpath, which trades under the ticker CPAH. Uh, Counterpath designs desktop and mobile application software, including voice over internet protocol, unified communications, and fixed mobile convergence solutions. Counterpath is actually a Canadian-based microcap stock, but a recent search has put it on our radar. The stock is currently a Zacks rank number two buy and has soared more than 40% over the past four weeks. Zacks readers and listeners will know that we are always focused on the earnings estimate revisions um, and our consensus estimate for the company's upcoming fiscal year earnings has risen by 13 cents within the past 30 days. The firm is now expected to be profitable and improve its EPS results by over 1,000% next year. We know that investors love to reward a company's profits, so the extent to which Counterpath can plan itself into the green this year could determine whether its momentum continues. Uh, Meanwhile, Counterpath is witnessing cash flow growth of 16%, and its price-to-sales ratio right now is hanging around 1.55%, Uh, And that comes at a significant discount to our computer software industry average. So uh, you're getting a decent price for uh, the company's sales picture. And you're looking at a really small micro cap company surging into profitability this year. Uh, That can lead to some exciting gains for investors. Next up. I want to highlight eGain, which trades under the ticker E-G-A-N. eGain provides web customer interaction, social social customer interaction, and contact center applications. It's kind of a growing name within the expanding customer engagement cloud solutions space. The stock is also a Zach's rank number two buy and has gained over 50% within the past four weeks. Uh, E-Gain is still in the red, but the firm has outperformed our estimates in two consecutive quarters. Revenues are expected to grow by a respectable 7% next year, and with a price-to-sales ratio of 2.50, investors are again getting a a decent, but uh, not particularly great, decent price though um, for that sales picture. Uh, Again, we typically look for Price of sales uh, below two, um, but you, really it d- depends on industry. Um, and when we look at these these small cap uh, tech stocks, we love to look at that price of sale ratio being within a reasonable range um, because 
the PS can be a great indicator for the smaller companies that are, are going to struggle with profitability as they're as they're growing and they're still in their early growth stages. PS can be a great tool for us to see what that revenue picture lo- looks like, even if uh, profitability is still a challenge. So on to the earnings side of things. Um, we're kind of looking at more of a long-term picture for eGain since it is in the red. Um, but our current consensus estimates are calling for the company to improve its EPS results at an annualized rate of 10% over the next three to five years. Um, so that should point to uh, you know continued and consistent um, growth of earnings over the next few years. Um, the real challenge for eGain, however, will be competing with the tech behemoths, the the aforementioned industry giants that had dominated in 2017, um, at least from Wall, uh, Wall Street perspective, dominated. Um, and in this specific industry, um, demand for cloud-based customer engagement is on the rise, but all these industry heavyweights are tossing their hat into the ring. So kind of a, a small a small player like Egain could be hard-pressed to stick out. Um, but definitely a name that uh, investors that are interested in this space want to keep their eye on. And uh, finally, I want to move on to highlight Sea Change International. Sea Change trades under the ticker SEAC. Sea Change develops products that help television and broadcast companies manage, store, and distribute digital video. Um, in other words, the company builds the framework that other companies used to build their own digital streaming and video sharing platforms on top of um, sea change really soaring after its most recent quarter uh, resulted in earnings that crushed our consensus estimate by over 800 percent the stock is now a zach's rank number one strong buy and has soared more than 48 percent over the past four weeks the Zach's consensus estimate for Sea Chain's full year earnings has now gained 11 cents within the last 30 days. And looking towards its upcoming fiscal year, the company is projected to witness EPS growth of 30 pre- 33%. Um, the story uh, for this growth, the reason for this growth, has really been renewed demand for its SaaS offerings which uh, people who pay attention to the kind of broader software industry, software market, um, know that this has been really a trend uh, for players of all shapes and sizes in this industry. Um, So it's really no surprise to see a company like SeaChange benefit from it. Um, It's really helped uh, attract new customers. And and SaaS, typically with software companies um, and cloud-based companies, it's a more efficient kind of model and it helps with uh, profitability. Uh, so seeing a demand for those SaaS offerings has been encouraging. However, Sea uh, Change has a pretty concerning revenue history that has witnessed full-year sales steadily decline for years. So while it is uh, kind of one of these small-cap tech stocks with uh, you know growing earnings and a so, you know recently a massive surge in share price. For those uh, kind of high-flying uh, tech growth investors that are looking for both earnings and revenue growth, um, it might not be a top choice. Um, but as a Zach's rank number one strong buy, we're seeing earnings estimates on the rise and in its most recent quarter, significantly outperforming our consensus estimate. So those are encouraging signs. Um, I want to take a step back now that we've got these three names out. Again, Counterpath, Egain, and Sea Change International. These are three interesting small cap tech stocks that we have highlighted today, but it will be really interesting to see how 2018 plays out for this area of the tech sector. In 2017, we actually saw, as I mentioned, we saw gains of large and mega cap tech stocks really lead the way. So now we're asking ourselves, will 2018 be the year of the small cap tech stock or will December's volatility continue and it signal an intent to move away from tech? I'm saying investors should keep a close eye on these first few weeks of trading for any indication. 
earnings season is going to start to heat up again soon at the end of January and into early February. So again, that could be another great catalyst for a great indication of uh, where 2018 is headed. Um, But yeah, something to keep your eye on in these early days of the new trading year. Um, Happy New Year to you all. I hope you enjoyed the holidays and are ready to get back in the groove of things here as we kick off 2018. As a reminder, if you feel that we missed something or if you want us to cover a different story, shoot us an email at podcast at zax.com. Make sure to check out all of our other audio content at zax.com slash podcast. And remember to subscribe and leave us a rating on Apple Podcasts. As always, thanks for listening to the Zach's Tech Talk Tuesday. We will see you next time.